Well, the U.S. has been very stern for weeks. So understandably, it's a very uh, you know sensitive situation. Uh, however, the press got off a, a call earlier with a senior administration official who really laid out uh, what's been going on behind the scenes. And let me tell you, it has been weeks of back and forth between Qatar, the U.S., Israel and Hamas. Qatar, of course, being the only party which has a direct line to Hamas. They've actually been in talks for this fifth negotiation of 50 hostages for uh, around five weeks, as it is at the moment. Uh, and that really gives you an idea of how granular the details are uh, of these negotiations. And the chief hang-up uh, was uh, actually who was going to be released. Hamas at one point refused to give any details of the people who would be released. Uh, that included their age, their nationality as well. And it wasn't until uh, that information ultimately was given that things could start to move ahead. We also found out that it was because of a bit of US pressure that Netanyahu also really went for this deal. Uh, there was, again, back and forth, but it was ultimately Joe Biden saying to Netanyahu, look, I think you need to take this deal. Uh, Netanyahu was uh, quite hesitant about it. He actually then said himself, Netanyahu, at the opening of that war cabinet meeting uh, overnight on Tuesday, that it was because of Joe Biden that uh, Israel was paying a lower price, as you were, that 150 Palestinians that would be released and really gave some credit to Joe Biden for that as well. However, the, once that negotiation with Joe Biden uh, and the lowering of the price for Israel had gone on, there was another breakdown in communication when Hamas just dropped communication and stopped talking to the Egyptians and also to the Qatari mediators. Uh, and ultimately, it got all the way up to this weekend when the US said, listen, this is the last deal that's going to happen. And it fell to the Emir of Qatar to talk to Hamas and say, this is the final deal. There will be nothing more after this. And that is after the Israelis had looked over the, de the details of this deal. Ultimately, it was accepted by Hamas and then sent to the Israelis on Tuesday morning when the Israelis had time to really mull it over. And Netanyahu put it to the war cabinet once again to finalise it. It was obviously approved and sent to Qatar, who then officially announced that it was happening. And it was then that the United States government finally said that they were happy this deal was happening. Joe Biden uh, saying, today's deal is a testament to the tireless diplomacy and determination of many dedicated individuals across the United States government to bring Americans home just in time for Thanksgiving.